Hello all, welcome back. So today I would like to show you how you can install Sway on Arch Linux. So Sway is a window manager that utilizes Veil and Display Protocol. So if you want to install Sway, you can do sudo pacman followed by dash capital S and you can use Sway followed by your preferred terminal. The recommended terminal for Sway is Alacrity. You can install that but I'm going to use Termite for mine. Then you can install packages like Paylog and you can use uh, an like a program for your like application launcher. So you can use dmenu or uh, Wofi. You can use accordingly. So I'm going to choose Wofi over here. Then we are going to install Waybar for the bar. I've already downloaded and installed all these packages so you can download and install them. So after doing that you have to make a directory mkdia space dot config followed by you have to make a directory called sway and you have to make a directory also called vapa. So after doing that we can copy you can do like copy the Weibar configuration like this and you can copy the Sway configuration from etc Sway and if you search you can see they have the configuration file over here so you can copy that to dot config followed by Sway you can copy that inside the if you do that your configurations for your sway and your way bar copied after doing that like if you're having a num numpad in your keyboard you can enable that in your sway by adding some custom configuration to your config file so if you use your text editor and if you go to dot config followed by way followed by config you can open up your sway config so this is like my custom resolution so I have set this because I'm inside a VM I have uh, set this over here so by default it may have uh, detected your screen resolution if you are on physical hardware this is your mod key settings here the default mod key will be let me increase the font size so the default mod key will be mod4 mask or the windows key so if you want to change that to alt you can use mod1 so if you go to insert mode and if you change that to mod 1 it's going to use uh, alt key so i don't want that i'm going to use windows key so here you have like directional keys which follows the same vim pattern h j k l here you can set your preferred terminal by default you will be having alacrity over here so if you are having like uh, if you are using some other terminal that supports valen you can use it over here so set dollar term and followed by your terminal name then by default in this portion you will be having d menu so instead of using d menu we are going to use wofi so in order for you to use wofi you have to use set dollar menu followed by wofi dash dash show equals d run dash dash lines equal to five and you can set the prompt then this is the path where you set your wallpaper so you have to use output uh, space star bg and you can specify this is the path to the wallpaper and you can specify fill to like fill the wallpaper in your screen then you have your key bindings so the default key for opening a terminal is mod key uh, that is the windows key if you are using the default configuration and the enter and in order for you to kill a window it's similar to i3 you can use mod shift q if you want to reload your like uh, sway you can use i'll show you later on when we get inside so you can do that then the next thing we are going to do is we are going to set environment so since some applications don't uh, run well with whale and we can use we go to slash etc followed by environment we can set this environment value over there so it will enable like it will tell all the applications globally to use Wayland 
so that will avoid some issues for you. I'm going to log out of my GNOME session and I'm going to get inside Sway over here. So by default if you have set like uh, the wallpaper and everything your uh, Sway window manager will look somewhat like this. So if you haven't set a wallpaper it will open up with uh, a Sway written on like Sway branding over there instead of this custom wallpaper. So up in the top you are seeing Weber. If you want to open up a terminal use mod and enter. The first thing I would like to do is I would like to enable number lock keys or the num keys for my keyboard in dot config followed by sway and config and inside this I'm going to specify like here somewhere over here I'm going to specify the bind configuration so I can specify input followed by star and I can specify xkb underscore numlock followed by enable that's going to enable numlock for me during the boot or when I open up a so in order for you to restart your sway after you perform your configuration changes you can do a mod shift and c so that will reload your sway so if you're having a num keyboard like keyboard with the number lock like numpad now you can see your num lock is enabled by default you want to enable like caps lock also you can specify xkb like you can follow the same pattern and you can specify instead of num lock you can specify caps lock over here and in this portion we have specified we are going to use wofi for our application launcher so we can use mod and d to run wofi so this is wofi so if you do a mod and d and so it's something like uh, firefox your phone like if it will open up firefox for you so if you want to quit out of that you can use mod shift and q to exit out of that and you have your idle configuration so if you want your sway to lock your system like in an idle state specifying some time period you can do that in this portion you can specify your bar so in the bottom like if you go deep down to your configuration file you are going to see this line status bar so by default you will be having sway bar instead of having sway bar I have added these lines but and have specified sway bar is going to be way bar so you can do that by using swaybar underscore command space waybar. So that will enable your waybar for you. So up the top you are seeing waybar that then we can open up our waybar configuration. So waybar is having we go to cd into dot config and waybar. If you do an ls over here you can see your waybar will be having two files inside the configuration you will be having a dot a config file and a style.css so waybar uses uh, css to provide color for the bar if you go to vim and followed by config it's going to open up your waybar configuration so inside this you can do modifications it's like uh, this portion if you don't want something to be displayed on your bar you can delete them so i'm going to go to insert mode and I'm going to delete that I don't want MPD I don't want idle hit, uh, then I don't want like CPU I don't want to see the memory usage either I don't want temperature I don't want backlight display language battery clock entry I think uh, that's sufficient for me so if you go down you can like do a little bit of alignment and all the other customizations so if you have uh, deleted some configurations like mpd all these things from here up top you can delete the configurations for that over here you don't need to keep your system bloated you don't want like uh, this thing cpu and all you can delete that if i save and if i reload the configuration file you can see waybar has like been minimized to some extent if you want to add some spacing or something like that you can add that 
from here so for example if we open up like if we check something like pulse audio or something so you can see the pulse audio status for all these things so if you want to give some spacing inside this quotes you can like go to insert mode add a space you can do that so it will give like uh, let me show you i'm going to save mod shift c to reload so you can see the mic button has like moved a little bit you can do custom configurations over here according to your requirement next part is really interesting so that is the place where we define the colors for our waybar if you don't want like uh, your waybar to have uh, colors or something here you can specify fonts so font for your waybar you can specify the font size here like uh, for example if i change this to something like 20 and save and if i do a reload i'm going to get bigger font over there i know it looks ugly but i'm showing you this for like just demonstration purposes and if you want to change something like uh, if you don't want the colors and all like this you can customize that over here if you go down a little bit you can see your clock and all these things are having background colors so if you want like everything to use default you can delete them all or you can like uh, specify custom color for this so if you want to change the color of your clock background color of your clock you can change that to a cc if you do that something like this you can do the css color format if i save and if i do a reset like restarts where you can see the background color of the clock has changed and currently the network is having a really ugly like no not the network the volume is having a really ugly color so if you want to change that can change this over here if you go to insert mode and if you do something like bcc ff like thing that's that will do on shift c to restart the configuration so you can see you can change the color like that so if you don't want uh, the system to use any sorts of color like this you can delete this so it will go like uh, somewhat transparent so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna delete all these lines which is specifying the colors so i have done that f i w and mod shift c to restart it's not going to use any background colors i don't want colors for battery too i can delete them for clock also i can do that so currently we don't have any sort of colors so i do w and mod shift c to restart this way you can see now it's entirely transparent if i do a mod shift q to exit out of this you can see you have a bar like this right now now mod and enter we move to our web configuration you can like uh, there are multiple options you can perform over here so if i go inside style.css and if i don't want like mod bottom i can disable that by moving this and specify to zero pixel or i can delete the entire line so now if i do a mod shift c it's going to reload my sway and you can see like if i do a mod shift q you can see the border has been removed in sway you can navigate around by using mod and enter to open up your terminal mod and d to open up your launcher so we have specified wofi for us if you want to switch your current one to a different workspace you can do a mod shift and the number of workspace so it's going to like now it's in workspace 2 if you want to switch to workspace 2 you can do a mod and 2 or mod and the number of workspace mod shift uh, q to qu close that and mod 1 to go back to your first workspace if you have like multiple terminals open so if you want to move like you can do mod can do this to move that mod shift and jk and like that you can like switch the layout you can navigate like you can move using your mouse or you can use the key bindings to move in order for you to quit out of sway you can use mod shift and e like i3 so it's going to ask you whether you want to exit sway so if you click that you're out of sway 
So that's it for today. I hope uh, this one was helpful. I hope you all have a wonderful day.